Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge. And today I'm bringing you kind of a mini book haul. I mean, it still has like 30 books in it, but my shelf isn't as overflowing as it normally is before I do this. But I have some books that I absolutely adore that were in this haul. And I've shared before, like the way that I remember which books I haven't put in a haul video yet is they are on a cart in my bedroom and when the card is full then I do a video and then I can put the books away. Well, I want to put these books away because I've been cleaning up and getting, I mean it's almost spring cleaning time, right? Crossing my fingers. And so I want to put these away. So we're doing a haul with not as many books as I normally would do in one, but like that's okay. Less editing for me to do on the video anyway, right? So I think with this one, Today, I'll start with some books that were sent to me, some books that I bought um, because they're either for like um, videos that I'm going to do. I also have new releases that I've purchased, so we'll just go through everything. So let's start with a book that I received on Sunday, um, and it was just such a sweet surprise. I posted about it on my Instagram because I was just very touched um, by this author who they said that they had noticed some sales in their book go up and when they looked up they saw a video that I did about their book and so they sent it to me a signed copy and it when I tell you like it's something so simple and that's not something everyone can do or should do but it made me smile so big and it just made me so happy to get this like handwritten letter from this author um, as well as this book so L.L. L. Meyer sent me Under a Northern Sky, and she, of course, signed it. And this book is a barbarian romance. It's got, like, old-school historical vibes, but also it's written a little more modern as well. It's not quite a fantasy. Like, it, it fits into a lot of things. Um, but I read this book last month, and I absolutely adored it. Like, this couple just stole my heart. But it also definitely has dark romance vibes, too. Um, and so, yeah, she sent me this letter with this book, and it just really made my day. Like, it honestly did. So, um, Lisa, thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, and Lisa also offered to do a giveaway of this book, an international giveaway. So, keep your eye out during my birthday month in March. I'm planning to do a few different giveaways. So, this one will be nice because she offered to send it anywhere in the world. So, anyone will be able to win this one, which is amazing. So, yes, thank you so much. And definitely check this book out. Um, it is the first in a series, but it's a complete standalone for the couple. So you can absolutely just dive right into this one and read it. And lucky for me, Lisa actually has some other series as well. So I'm going to be checking those out very soon. So I guess her other name is also, it's right in this book. It's Lisa Lynn Meyer. So I'm going to be checking out more. Then I had um, a book sent from me by... From the author as well um, and this one I am super intrigued by this one it seems like a dark um, academia novel this one is called Darling Descent and it's by Leanne Hart and Leanne had said in this one um, that um, hold on let me see if I can read it the cursive is beautiful but it's bleeding a little bit so this one is a dark romance and I wanted to reach out with this and I hope you enjoy it. Um, and so this one is about Kina O'Callaghan um, and she is hopefully going to get a mentorship with this doctor but it turns out that she had actually seen him at confessional at mass before then um, and then there are a secret investigation and she fails and she fails but in the heat of her secret investigation, she fails to see that she's his next subject. So I don't know what that means, but I just, I love this cover and I love a good dark H gap romance. So, and I got a bookmark with it. So Leanne, thank you so much for sending me this. And I am genuinely intrigued by this book. I, I never promise an author when I can get to it, but I'm intrigued by that one. So 
this was sent to me by, by Brie. I actually won a giveaway that she did for this one, so I don't know too much about it at all, but it's Don't Tease Me by Renee Rose, um, and it's a mafia arranged marriage, I think, maybe? Or an arranged, oh, it's a, it's a sugar daddy sexy arrangement. Ooh, so I want to try that one. Then I was sent two PR books in the last month from Valentine PR um, for new releases. And I actually already did a giveaway for, for this one because I forgot that they were sending me a copy. When you, um, Valentine PR has a quarterly form that you can fill out to request which books you would like to promote. Um, and I forgot that I picked this one. So I had bought myself a copy. And then I also got sent one, had a nice little uh, sexy art print and a bookmark. So I did a giveaway on my Instagram, which I actually have that ready to mail out to the winner of it. But um, Twisted is one of her like standalone, a never after novel. Um, and I really want to read more in the series. I enjoyed Scarred. And so I own Wretched and Twisted. I just haven't got to them yet. And then I also was sent Promise Me Always by A.L. Jackson. Um, this is book four in her Redemption Hills. This one's the flower cover. Um, I actually am reading the second book in the series right now, Say It's Forever. So I want to get to this one soon. There are audiobooks for these, which I love, so I'm listening to it. But then I got a bit distracted by some of the other books I'm going to show you here. But I want to read more A.L. Jackson. I think her books are beautiful. And her writing is so, like, lyrical. Like, when you look at the page, it's just very, like, lyrical and soothing. And so sometimes that can throw me out, but sometimes it's amazing. All right. Then I have some books from, like, book boxes and special editions here. So I did get my Renegade Romance for um, January, February. And it was Regina Abel. And I haven't been this excited for one of these boxes since, like, a, the Tiffany Roberts one. Because I really wanted to read more, Re or any Regina Abel, because I know how much Brie loves her. And these two covers are gorgeous. There is I Married a Lizard Man, which this is the first book in, I think, the Prime Dating Agency. Is it? Yeah, the Prime Mating Agency. So, And there's also a pretty print of it. Love it. And then um, this cover of Mist Walker. Is great. It's also like a little bit textured too. It's really cool. And this print is mostly safe for work. There's no peen or anything, but the Mist Walker one there. So very excited about these. I want to get to these ones soon. I want to do like a monster romance like binge or something. I had the pin in my hand and I like, oh, it's over here. I will add this to my pin board, the Prime Mating Agency pin. Love it. All right. Then I have some Sam Mariano books. So Sam has opened her um, signed book form every now and then. And every time I end up buying a couple more books to add to my collection. <laughs> um, and this time I grabbed three. She had her Christmas collection up, um, which has three books in it. There's Wrapped in Red, How the Hitman Stole Christmas, and Mistletoe Kisses. And neither Mistletoe Kisses or How the Hitman Stole Christmas have I read yet. And so I grabbed her Christmas collection. They're all bound up. She also sent, um, so it's signed to me in here. So I have this now. Then I actually already own Undertow, but I have the Discreet cover, and I want both the Discreet cover and the regular one of this because I have the regular cover of Even If It Hurts, um, which I don't love the cover of Even If It Hurts because I feel like it doesn't match it, but this one definitely matches the story that's inside. I actually read Hayden and Gemma, so I snagged the signed copy of this one, and now I have both. I don't care if Sam Mariano's in my top, like, five authors. So I don't care. And then I wanted to grab the mass market size of this before it's unpublished. And it will be republished to fit into the other series. I'm actually going to be reading this in March. Um, but Sophie's Surrender is going to be unpublished. And it won't be back 
for a little while because it's going to be like changed up just a little bit um, when it isn't under Laura Lovett anymore as well. This was a co-author that Sam did with Laura Lovett to help launch her. So I have this signed copy by both of them and I just love this. Even though it doesn't fit with other sizes, eventually this book will be in a big size, but this is like a limited edition basically because it's not going to be around for much longer. And then I do have a copy of How the Hitman Stole Christmas that I paid quite a pretty penny for because I was able to get the Fabled Nights copy of How the Hitman Stole Christmas. Um, this was done by Fabled Nights Co. Um, and so I was able to get this on Mercari. Um, because you know what? Sometimes I end up spending ridiculous amounts of money as well. Um, I just thought this edition was so fun. It has like a handcuffs on it. There's the underneath of it. It's this interesting pinky color. I don't quite know how I feel about the shade. I thought it was a bit brighter red, but I love having this. I love this hardcover. Um, and the pages are so cool. Like look at the print on it, that like digital print there and like the inside. So this is so cool. I'm thinking of doing kind of like a Christmas in the spring. Um, I don't know if I'll do it as like a readathon or something, but I want to read this book. I also have holiday hoax that Maggie Cole had sent me. Um, and so I maybe want to do that because I'm rarely in a mood for Christmas books around Christmas, but then I get the urge for it like later on. So that might be fun to do kind of like a Christmas in the spring or something. All right, then I have my book box for October that I finally got. Um, I have finally canceled my book box subscription because I wanted to keep it until my December box um, because I want to get... Uh, between Wrath and Mercy is getting a special edition. Um, but I've like, like, I have so many copies of <laughs> the book box addictions and I haven't like read any of them yet, but this one is A Dowry of Blood and I really love how this one looks. I know this one doesn't have like an HGA, I think. Um, but they, it is like The Bride of Dracula and I think this one looks amazing. I don't know. But I remember when this was going around and people were reading it. Look at the. So maybe next October I'll give this one a go and see how I feel about it. Ooh. But, I mean, it certainly is beautiful. That's for sure. And then this I was just able to order off of, um, <clears throat> uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> That tickle in my throat refuses to leave. Um, you will be able to just order this off of Amazon. So you can have this too. Um, if you hadn't heard, um, Grace Draven um, has cancer. And she had a GoFundMe that was going around to raise money for hospital bills. And everyone was just so generous. It just blew through its goal for her. I don't know where the link is for that anymore. But anyway, when I heard that she also had some special editions of her books planned coming, of course, I immediately had to have it. Um, I ordered it just the second that it went up. Um, but she has this beautiful volume of the first two Wraith Kings done. Um, so it's, it says volume one, and so it has Radiance and Idealon, and it's this hardcover it's just beautiful. I will have all the editions of these books if I can. It has a forward by Alona Andrews, which is awesome. But I will have the, if I remember to, I'll link this down below if you want to buy this one. But I just had to have it. I wanted to support her as well as I want it for my shelf because my fantasy romance shelf is ever growing and it could always use more editions. So here's my beautiful edition of Wraith Kings volume one and two, or volume one. Rather. Then um, a couple more like different editions of books. This is just something that when I feel like treating myself, 
I grab them. Um, I like to collect, there specifically is three books that I like to collect as many editions of them as I find that I like what they look like. And those three classics are Pride and Prejudice, um, Jane Eyre, and um, North and South, which North and South, it's definitely difficult to find multiple versions of that. There are not enough of it. So I snagged the, these are the signature editions from, let me see, from Signature Classics, the signature editions of Pride and Prejudice. This isn't my normal style, okay, but like I really, I just like this. And the Jane Eyre, look at that. Um, sometime I'll show you guys all my editions. And it's just yellow underneath, just that solid color. But I don't know, I just really loved this. So I grabbed these two editions. And then there's an edition of Pride and Prejudice that I have wanted for years. I don't know when it was came out. 2018. I've seen this edition and I've wanted it. And <laughs> I'd had a gift card that I'd been saving. Um, and so I finally did it. And it is the, like, it's an illustrated version of Pride and Prejudice. And it also has, like, items in it. So it's this beautiful hardcover. Um, it has like a bookmark in it. Um, you're able to like put your name in it and everything. And then it has beautiful like flowered illustrations inside, but also like where's a really pretty one? Like look, these flowers, but also it has these inserts inside. So there's like a map of London that's in here. So like this comes out. So when you're reading, you can like pull it out and snag it. There is like dancing instructions. Like this is how you do that dance. But mo like literally I would have bought the whole book with nothing else inside it except for this. This is like why I wanted this. This is um, Mr. Darcy's letter to her. Um, so like it, it says, Miss Elizabeth Bennett in the care of Mr. and Mrs. Collins, the Huntsford Rectory in Huntsford. And then on the back of it, it says, and that there may be the possibility of consulting him. I shall endeavor to find some opportunity of putting this letter in your hands in the course of the morning. I only add, God bless you, Fitzwilliam Darcy. And it's the entire like letter. And I've just, I've just wanted it as a Pride and Prejudice, like, nerd. Um, this is an edition I wanted, but it's, it was $50. Um, so it was just, you know, it's tough when you can get copies of Pride and Prejudice for a couple bucks. But I wanted it. I now have it. And I very much look forward to rereading this soon. Maybe that will be a birthday month treat for myself, is sitting down with this coffee and reading it. But to have his letter, I just love. So I just love, I love, love, love. Okay, we got to keep it moving. All right, then I have some recent releases that I purchased. Let me make sure of what I have here. Okay, so of course I have Powerless by Elsie Silver. This was a six star read for me, just recently released can't wait to, I'll be rereading that in March to annotate it. Um, I did buy The Final Offer by Lauren Asher. Um, I just couldn't help it. I was seeing a lot of my friends love it, although now I've seen a lot of people not love it. It's also huge, but I snagged it. I did. I grabbed it. We'll see if I get to it. It probably won't be like super recently, but I did. I grabbed it. I also really love these covers. Like I really do. Um, I didn't love the fine print, um, but I want to read Turns and Conditions and the final offer, so I snagged that. Um, I have The Phantom by Gina Showalter. I mentioned this one in my TBR for March as well. I really want to, I love the series, The Rise of the Warlords, so I snagged it, yeah, even in hardcover, because I, I have a hardcover of the previous book too. 
Then we have some historicals, two of which I've read already. So the Duke gets even. I have, of course, had to say a copy. I really don't like that we went back to shiny. Why? Why is it shiny? I want the books to be matte. Um, but I also grabbed the Counterfeit Scoundrel. This one is releasing. It should be out now. Um, it comes out on the 21st, which is like, oh, and that is today. It's Tuesday. So, I mean, the day I'm recording this is out. I grabbed Her Lessons in Persuasion by Megan Frampton. I really need to catch up with the Megan Framptons that are out now. I was doing good reading them and then I fell behind. And then um, Curled Up with an Earl by Amy Rose Bennett. So this one I think is also just coming out or just did. And I actually was given an audio arc of this. Um, it's kind of weird because the audio arcs on Neck Alley don't usually come out until the book is like just out anyway. So I haven't had time to read this yet because I had some more pressing audiobooks I like had to get to. But I really want to read books in this series and so I requested the arc of this and then I was able to grab a physical book already as does happen to me quite a bit. But we'll get to them. Then um, I also this one isn't a new release, but when I saw another copy of A Grey Straven, this one was put into my, this one was at Barnes & Noble. I grabbed it because I do own another book in this series too, but I haven't tried reading the Fallen Empire series yet. I will. I have The Titan's Bride 1 and 2. I've already read both of these and reviewed them. Um, this is a uh, kind of a faded mate scenario, but also like a captor captive Kind of this human college student gets stolen by a titan and finds out he's his bride, but um, he's never even been with a man before, let alone a man with a gigantic penis. <laughs> so these are erotic manga, but I, I, I love them. I'm so charmed by, I think it's Kyoshi, yeah, Kyoshi and um, Caius. Like, I'm so charmed by them, and I can't wait for the third um, volume to come out. Then I grabbed the third volume of Outbride, The Beauty and the Beast. I've only read the first volume and I didn't love it, but I tend to give manga like three to four volumes to like snag me just because I feel like the first foot forward isn't always the best foot, but yeah, I absolutely want to keep trying this series anyway. Okay, just a few things left over here. So first off, I can't remember if I already showed the first one in a book haul. I don't know if I did, um, but I'm going to show all three of these anyway because they're fucking gorgeous. And that would be Daughter of No Worlds, which I read and gave five stars. Absolutely adored it. Children of Fallen Gods, which I gave six stars. Absolutely adored it. It's fantastic. The audiobooks are epic. And then we have Mother of Death and Dawn, which I haven't got to yet. I will either be getting it to at the end of February or in March. It's happening. It's happening as soon as I can make it happen. But as you can see, very large. I still have Sarah J. Mass books to read and a few other I have to get through. But then I'm having a date with Tasana and Max and I can't wait to get to it. Um, a couple other little books that I snagged. I grabbed Taste by Melanie Harlow. This was the last book in the Cloverly Farm series that I was missing, so I snagged this for myself. I grabbed God of Wrath, which I have already read and reviewed as well. This is probably my least favorite of the three so far, but I still enjoyed it, and I'm really liking this series, and I can't wait for the next one. So I've just loved these, these, these crazy books. Like, I've really enjoyed these so much. And then the last two books I want to show you are on my March TBR. One of them will be an exclusive review to my patrons, so definitely check out my Patreon if you'll want to know my thoughts on it. But in March, I plan to read Mile High by Liz Tom Ford and The Right Move. I just got these in. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And The Right Move was a slam dunk for my patrons. They picked this book for... March. And so I was like, well, I want to read both. So I'm just going to buy both of them and we'll be ready to go. So yeah, there we go. 
But anyway, well, see, this haul still ended up being 25 minutes, so it worked out well. But thank you to everyone who sent me some books. Thank you to everybody who's always excited to see what I got. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more content coming your way. Thanks so much, friends. Bye.